slider um, has this auto installer you can install it automatically but this one um, you can click new installation but it doesn't work because this is a free domain obviously if you buy a new domain it will work um, now here you go this is the dashboard here um, what you want to do is you want to go to appearance and go to themes now you wanna you wanna, you wanna go to install themes. Now we're gonna install an e-commerce shop um, theme. Now you wanna type in here. Um, not e-commerce. You're typing crafty cart. Brings you this little nice e-commerce e shop. Now you wanna install this. Install now. Right, activate that theme that's installed now that's got your theme but if I go to if I click this sorry it gives you this but it doesn't look like a shop yet does it it just looks like a little blog hello world but blog first post right now you want to make it look like a shop now what you do is you go to plugins you go to add new plugin you want to type in here e dash commerce search for plugins okay do you wanna you wanna download this e-commerce plugin by instinct entertainment you wanna install that into your wordpress it's installed in the plugin plugin being installed now Don't worry about that, it should be installed. If it's there you go. Um click activate. If it, it just that message was just this it passed ten seconds that it should be installed by, but if it gives you that, just click just redirect yourself back to install plugins and it should be there. Now uh, I've I've activated that now. If I go to my um back to my how to PG, um it should be there but it's not at the moment. Right now, what we need to do is these are our product page. You need to add a new product. Test product. Test information. Add it to our category here. There you go. Additional description. Anything. Um, and there you go, you can add shipping and so on. Now, um, I'm gonna publish that. And I click this. Once you publish that post, it should have this up there. That means that the plugin's ready, you have to put these files inside your theme. Now you wanna take all of these. move all of them files there that's moved now now your your, your that sh this should look like your shop but it doesn't go to product page there's a little shop add the cart you can't see a cart at the moment right now you think you can't see a cart but really you're wrong because there is a cart but you have to go to widgets this is your little sidebar you have to go to you have to look for shopping cart scroll up put that in there um, take that if you want to click save now if you go to oh back to there you have a little shopping cart there great isn't it um that's your little shopping cart slides up and down um this is your products page this is one of your products already there and if i want to delete that from my cart i click that nothing in your shopping cart add to cart goes right there you just add it tells you what you just added to your shopping cart and it gives you the little price quantity and the product name click check out Right now here you can 
have your own checkout information so you can um go to this how you this is how you make your um your plugin have its own checkout information so you this is how you have it assigned to your paypal account you want to go to sorry you want to go to your um settings and go to store this is all your settings for your store um i'm going to play about with these settings um change your currency change your currency logo sign whatever presentation set your primary business location just go through this just do all the things that's necessary um go through all of this but really what we need to do is go to payments now you're gonna go to paypal paypal express or whatever edit and there you go your display name your username your password your um signature so on um this is everything you need you can have google checkout it's actually your google checkout account and so on or you can also have your own checkout fields this is just the fields for what you just saw here for that um addressing and so on um the information will be forwarded to paypal once they made their payment on paypal you can um you can flag you can look at the order and you can um change the order status they construct the order and so on so that's you now you got your online shop you can add products and you can email me on my email address if you want any more help um i think this this tutorial might be split into two parts because it's 15 minutes long and anyway thank you guys for watching and see you lot later thank you for watching remember to rate comment and subscribe to my channel for any future videos follow me on twitter at paris gash comment for any advice or message email for any problems related thank you